San Francisco, the Cayman Islands, Charlotte, North Carolina, Philadelphia and San Antonio will all be represented at the 2014 North Americans, which is like an adult version of the recent CYC or Continental Youth Championships in New York when teams from right across the United States and Canada came together to compete over four days. The venue for the North American Finals will be here at Canton, the home of Boston GAA, south of the city, known as the Irish Cultural Centre, where Gales enjoy games on a regular basis. There will be ladies Gaelic football, as well as camogie and hurling, with many of the 120 teams and 2,500 players training all year to prepare for the event, like the Austin Celtic Cowboys ladies footballers, who will bring 23 players, more even than their men's footballers, all the way from Texas to Boston for the football and the crack. The Senior A men's football champions are Ulster Club San Francisco. Training on Treasure Island, Benny Higgins and Joe Duffy have guided Ulster to the last two North American championships. And after they captured a third San Francisco championship at the weekend, they're now gunning for a three in a row on the East Coast. But it's not just the traditional areas that are strong. Texas this year had an epic senior final, which went to extra time and sent a message to everyone else. It certainly does. Uh, well, I hope I hope it does. Uh, you know, this is the, the deep south, and uh, we're here to stay. We're not going anywhere. And uh, watch out, northeast and northwest, and the western coast, and everyone else, because Texas is here to stay, and we're coming up strong. Over in the southeast, progress is also being made. Charlotte and Raleigh will compete at junior level, with Raleigh taking on the Cayman Islands on day one. Cayman may be known for their stunning beaches, but they've grown to more than 170 members. They've been training hard for the North Americans, and they're serious about their football. Too right, yeah. Now last year we went up and we were, we were hoping to do well, and we were beaten, beaten well, to be honest, by Charlotte, who went on to win the Junior B Championships. This year now we're playing rally and we, we definitely the men's side, we definitely want to give it a good rattle. Big things will be expected from the host area, with superb teams like Wolf Tones and Shannon Blues winning through this week to the Boston Senior A Final. They'll have home advantage and will surely be there or thereabouts come Sunday evening. But it's not just football. Many Americans and other non-Irish are taking to hurling and camogie in increasing numbers in places like Denver, Milwaukee, Indianapolis, Seattle and Orlando, who won the Peach Cup in June in Atlanta. And many of them will pay their way to make the trip to the Northeast over the public holiday Labor Day weekend in the name of Gaelic Games. Make no mistake, the GAA abroad, and in this case North America and Canada, is more popular than ever. So it's fitting that GAA President Liam O'Neill will be on hand, as he was at the CYC, to meet and greet and to hand out medals and trophies, as will President-elect Aegon Farrell, Camogie President Aileen Lawler and Ladies Football President Pat Quill.